This is Table Mountain at the southern tip of Africa. Today Table Mountain frames the city of Cape Town in many photographs and videos. We've all seen pictures of Table Mountain with its tablecloth or cloud. They appear in travel brochures and in films. But Table Mountain has been there since long before Cape Town existed and recently taught me a business lesson. Table Mountain has been shaped by the upthrust of the Earth's crust by millions of years of erosion by wind, rain and water. The process has been really slow. As I film this video from Signal Hill, where it's hard to see any change except the strong winds, it blew up from the southern ocean. But then over time I saw the clouds were moving and the rain falling on the distant slopes. Table Mountain was being covered and then revealed by the clouds as the winds fiercely blew. The elements that shaped Table Mountain were slowly operating before my eyes. But it was difficult to see these environmental changes unless you look really hard for them. Only when I speeded up the film is change really apparent. So what did Table Mountain teach me? With changes happening around our businesses all the time, but often we don't see it as we are too busy to look. Of course, big changes like the recession are obvious if they hit the news. But small changes in things like buying behaviour, demographics and technology can creep up on us and change the environment in which we do business without us noticing any change at all, simply because it's relatively slow and we're busy. In the UK, companies like Woolworths, Jessup's, Comet, La Sensa, JJB, Clinton and Habitat have all been hit by changes they didn't see coming. I've been interviewed many times by the BBC about the problems these companies face and I've explained them in detail on several programmes. I've also been able to point out something really important. Not all businesses have suffered. Other companies have spotted change and have prospered, simply because they embraced change. While the traditional high street retailer was suffering, they improved their websites, introduced Wi-Fi into their stores, encouraged showrooming, adopted things like click and collect, and some even went totally online. Companies like Jessup's, after closing down, were bought by Peter Jones and has moved from being a retail chain with a website to becoming a powerful online presence, complete with commanding digital marketing strategy and a handful of retail outlets. But change doesn't only hit high street retailers, it can hit any business, whatever size it is. It hits plumbers and consultants, photographers and architects. Any business is subject to change. If they, and you, are to survive and thrive, you need to be aware of this and take action. As a business owner, I learned an acronym called PESS. The idea was that we should review our business in terms of the impact from political, economic, social and technological factors. Today, PESS has expanded to become PESTO. Legal and environmental factors have been added. Acronyms like PESS make this sound like an academic exercise. It isn't. It's a serious topic that applies to all businesses and can make or break yours. My lesson from Table Mountain is that although these changes may appear to be very subtle, we need to recognise them and build them into our business strategy. This is the first of a series of Out of Africa business and marketing videos. If you want to discover more marketing and business ideas that you can apply to your business, and see some of my holiday snaps maybe, then like or subscribe to my YouTube channel now. But if you can't wait for marketing ideas for your business, contact me right away.